All right, good afternoon. So uh, earlier today, approximately 11.40 a.m., the Indian River County Sheriff's Office responded to uh, reports of a shooting at the Walker Woods apartment complex. Uh, we arrived on scene, we found an adult female who had been shot uh, multiple times by the suspect, uh, who's identified as Wilner Cyprian, 31 years old. Um, he is a corrections officer with the Martin County uh, the Martin DOC. He works at the uh, Department of Corrections in Martin County. Um, he was off duty at the time that this occurred. Uh, I will tell you that uh, he was there waiting for her. This uh, particular victim uh, was uh, arriving to her residence uh, in Walker Woods when um, this gentleman does not live there. He was uh, specifically there waiting for her to return. Uh, to the home and when she did return he fired at her as she tried to drive away he fired into the vehicle uh, and struck her multiple times she was airlifted to Lawnwood where she is in stable condition uh, we're happy to say that he uh, immediately fled and of course uh, we put uh, his information into our license plate reader system uh, and working with our partners in St. Lucie County uh, I'm sure that many folks on the Treasure Coast noted us a high law enforcement presence here in Indian River and in St. Lucie as we were trying to identify him. Uh, St. Lucie County did find him um, and they were able to take him into custody. Before taking him into custody, he uh, did not immediately stop. It was a low speed pursuit. Uh, eventually he was stopped using a variety of techniques. The entire time that he was fleeing from St. Lucie County deputies, he had the weapon that was used to his head. Uh, he was definitely uh, threatening suicide. Fortunately, he was taken into custody. He was tasered and taken into custody without incident down there in St. Lucie County. Uh, our Cleveland Clinic Hospital here went on a preliminary lockdown, precautionary lockdown, um, because it was believed that he would uh, respond to the hospital. Um, and of course, um, once he was taken into custody, our detectives responded down to St. Lucie County where they interviewed him and he ultimately confessed to these crimes. Um, there's a number of questions still about this case, but so far we believe at this time um, that this is a love triangle situation, that um, he believed that uh, he, his girlfriend was cheating on him, and uh, he believed that uh, in shooting this person that he would um, exact revenge on this case. So um, we're continuing to work this. I know you're probably going to ask if it was... Uh, the weapon that's assigned to him. Uh, we can't say at this moment, we're still working through that. Our detectives have been down there to talk to him and um, we do know that he, is, he has confessed to it and uh, we're happy that he is off the streets today. We have also been in contact with the uh, Department of Corrections down in Martin CI. Uh, their command staff is aware of this arrest and they know uh, about what has happened. So with that, I'll take any questions that you might have about this case. So talk about the, the hospital lockdown, talk about what happened. Yeah, so um, a person related to this case, I can't really get into to the details of it, but related to this case was at the hospital. They believe that he may be coming there. Uh, and so as a precaution, they put the hospital on a lockdown. Uh, and fortunately, he did flee out of the area. He did not go to our hospital. So it was, it was just precautionary. Once we had him in custody, we let them lift that lockdown. And I have to ask this question about sure. the data. Um, I, I can't really get into the details. We have Marcy Law's issues with this case, but um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we had to lock down the hospital. Do you know how long the lockdown was at the hospital? Um, it was for a, a little while, maybe a little more than an hour. Uh, yeah, it was a little over an hour around that time, time frame. And do you know how long he worked with Martin County as a corrections officer? I don't have those details yet. We're, we're just now getting uh, all the details of it, uh, you know, who, who all is involved in this, and our detectives are working through that now. Martin CI, yes, not Martin County Sheriff's Office. He was with Department of Corrections working at Martin Correctional Institute. Just make sure that make that clear. And I really want to say thank you to our partners at St. Lucie County. They did a fantastic job with this case, taking him into custody, getting him in, um, in custody for us and for our detectives to be able to come down there for everything they've done to facilitate that. So thank you to Sheriff Mascara. I've been in touch with him. Him and his entire crew did a great job with this. And can you get the name spelled out? Yeah, I will absolutely do that for you. His first name is Wilner, W-I-L-N-E-R, Cyprian, C-Y-P-R-I-E-N, 31 years old. And what charges is he facing? Um, he's uh, facing uh, attempted murder charges, uh, a variety of, of other charges, including fleeing and eluding through St. Lucie County. So uh, we'll be working with the state attorney's office to uh, facilitate all those charges that he, he will face. Did you say 31 or 33? 31, I'm sorry, 31, yes. Yeah, aggravated assault as well. Did you make him get 
Um, no, I believe he lived uh, in, in either St. Lucie or Martin County, but he's not a resident. He was here waiting for her uh, when she arrived home. He was definitely waiting for this person. What time did it happen and what time did uh, St. Lucie arrive? Approximately 11.40 a.m. is when the shooting incident happened, and around 1.30 this afternoon, St. Lucie County uh, deputies located at the vehicle near a park uh, near Delaware Avenue in St. Lucie County. Where is he located again? He's currently down in St. Lucie County with our detectives. Did he go to the hospital? Uh, I believe he did get transported to the hospital, but I believe he's out now. He's, he's over at the, at the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. Was the intersection of Delaware Avenue? Um, I don't have where it was at. It was just off of Delaware. A park off of Delaware Avenue is where they took him into custody. Or, uh, okay, Greg knows. <laughs> and he was in a relationship with the woman who was shot? I can't really get into all the details of the relationship because of Marcy's law. Multiple times. We haven't really uh, disclosed uh, exactly how many times, but multiple times. Can you describe, like, uh, you said she was pulling up and he fired on her? Can you kind of explain that for me? Yeah, he approached the vehicle and she recognized that uh, the situation was about to get bad. She tried to drive away. He fired at her in, you know, through the vehicle, shot her as she was fleeing from the, se from the scene. Can you say how old the woman who shot was? I can't. Marcy's Law. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Um, the suspect vehicle, he shot the suspect vehicle and the victim vehicle? The suspect vehicle, I believe St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office has a picture of it up on their uh, web, on their Facebook page and everything. You can, you can grab that off of there. Yep, I saw it earlier. It looked like a red Jeep or something. The person shot the Burgundy red. Durango. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys, thank you for coming up. We appreciate it. It's a safer day. We're happy that, uh, you know, he's in custody and uh, was done without, without any further harm to anybody else. Thanks, guys.